Okay, I thought I would go over your homework for today just because some of you missed the directions due to the quiz today. Uh, you are to find a scaled image of your subject matter for the cell project. And what I mean by scaled image is you need an image that has a scale bar on it. Does everybody see right here? Okay. And the scale bar often will have a little number associated in a unit as that this scale bar represents, in this case, 100 micrometers. All right. So some of you might get lucky and find an image with the numbers and the scale bar directly on it. Sometimes you might find a picture image with the scale bar, but you don't know what the scale bar means. So when this happens, you actually need to visit the page, and when you open up the other page, you scroll until you find the image that you were looking at, and there, there it is, and you read the text associated with the image. So in this case, the scale bar, it tells you, represents 20 micrometers. There you go. All right, and so you need to print out both the image with the bar and the text that tells you what the size of the bar represents. Does that make sense? I hope so. Now, other things that come up. For those of you that are doing diseases, it is important that you first find the cause of your disease. So you need to know the name of the bacteria, the name of the virus, the name of the protist, whatever it is that actually causes the disease, you have to have that name, and then you are searching for an image of that thing. When you type in your search, it sometimes helps to actually type in, like this up here, let me show you. Type in the name of the thing you're looking for and scale bar, or maybe just bar, or maybe just scale, or whatever the case, you, you kind of narrow your search a little better that way, because if you type in just the name of the thing you're looking for, you're going to be sifting through thousands of images to try and find the right one. So keep that in mind. Um, other issues, people who have things like the plasma membrane or cell membrane, you may want to use either one of those names, plasma membrane or cell membrane, or like Golgi apparatus or Golgi complex. So things that have multiple names, you may need to play with those names in your search to kind of help yourself out. All right, that's all for now. I hope if you have any questions, you'll send me an email or something. Um, but I think that should get you where you need to go. Don't forget to print them out and bring them with you to class tomorrow. Okay? Thanks a bunch. Bye.